My name is Henry and I started Surplus, which is a men's clothing brand that uses surplus fabric to make nice items. So prior to Surplus, I, um, I was at university and I studied real estate management, so not massively creative. And um, when I graduated, I started making boxer shorts and selling them on the markets. And at that stage, I still expected to go into property, but really, really wanted to try and uh, build a boxer short business. And then uh, the boxer short business evolved into a clothing brand and boxer shorts are now a kind of small part of, of the range. So I, ha I had that stall on the market outside, probably for about five years. And um, you always read about how, how dead the high street is, so it really put me off taking a proper bricks and mortar shop. But since we opened the doors here, we've been really busy and it couldn't have had a better response. And I think to try and be less influenced by what you read um, and kind of go with your own instinct, because I should have done this a long time ago um, and hopefully you know, next time we'll make the step sooner. But by holding out, it meant that we built up our, our kind of network and we were more prepared and we were more financially sound. So, you know, it probably wasn't all bad. Personal success probably has to, has to do more with your kind of state of mind and, and your family and the, you know, how, 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 how much you're enjoying life, basically, is the most important thing. Um, but for me, that is influenced by how successful the business is um, and my kind of lifestyle will be impacted by how much we grow and how much we can you know evolve etc um, so that the two are definitely combined but it's it's money isn't the most important thing you know it's um, it's quality of life etc um, but for a business in general I think that to you know to have been going for about seven years I think now to have sold I don't know how many thousands or tens of thousands of garments and you know to make them in a, in a decent way and to have built a team and have a brand that people have heard of is kind of immensely satisfying and if we can carry on growing that then then I'm, I'm happy. You do have it at the back of your mind a lot um, and so it's good to try and find ways to, to switch off. I try and read a bit, I like to listen to podcasts, started playing a bit more golf and you know doing other things and I got married recently so that's that's cool, I can spend more time with my wife. But yeah, it, it is quite um, full on but then I guess we've been going through the, the early stages and now we've got to you know a decent size and I can start to you know hopefully switch off a little bit but um, it depends on, on what your kind of frame of mind is and if you're like me in a very um, you know, always thinking, always trying to work out the next plan, always kind of scheme, not scheming, but you know, planning, then, um, then you know, you probably won't so much if you're extremely relaxed and laid back and, you know, can just kind of walk into work and then do your stint and then leave and, you know, it depends on the person, but um, I think you, everyone should try to get to a position um, where, they, where they can switch off. Um, and because it's not healthy to work 24-7. To be wealthy, I think, um, from a financial point of view, you need to have enough money to do the, you know, the sort of things that you'd like to do, whether that's you know, go out for a meal with your friends, go on a holiday, um, you know, provide for your family, live in a you know, nice house. Um, Above that, you know, it doesn't make a difference to me if you have a, you know, a 25 pound watch or a, or a 25,000 pound watch. I don't think the, the latter makes you that much more happy. So, you know, material possessions aren't the most important thing, but being able to, you know, provide and do the th sort of thing you'd like to is, is key. The most fulfillment, um, really in, in, in hard work. When you work really hard and something comes off, it's extremely re rewarding. Um, whether that's seeing a product um, being bought in a shop or you know seeing somebody learn a new skill or um, seeing an article come out so I get a lot of uh, fulfillment from work um, but also from you know spending a lot of time with my friends and, and laughing um, and um, you know enjoying food and you know the social side so a lot of fulfillment from work and a lot of fulfillment from you know family and friends
Well, I always would imagine having some element of, uh, of, of work in there. Um, but, you know, to wind down a little bit, have somebody else manage a lot more of the admin side of it would be great. Um, maybe even work remotely. Um, but I enjoy kind of traveling and it'd be cool to have shops in different cities across the world to travel around and see them and kind of help the team. Um, so I don't think of retirement a lot, but hopefully I'll have a little bit of work and a lot of pleasure and maybe even some sea um, and some mountains and stuff like that.